All right, everybody, we are back with another video. I know it's been a little while, but I've been kind of busy with uh, regular work stuff, kids, and all kinds of fun things going on. Uh, raining like crazy down here in Georgia the last few weeks. So kids are supposed to be starting spring ball. But unfortunately, we have been relegated to indoor practice uh, for the majority of the last two weeks. So hopefully the weather improves here. We can get out and do some more of that kind of stuff. But I did want to get a video on here. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people doing uh, videos of the Tops 2020 uh, Series 1, and I have yet to go by or have the time to get by my card shop to pick up a hobby box like we usually do at the beginning of each year. But I did have to go get a uh, birthday gift for a nephew of mine here earlier, and I saw these rack packs um, just sitting there in Target, so I figured why not? I'll just go ahead and grab one of those. Uh, just do a quick open video on that. I know I'm way late to the party on this uh, 2020, but I've seen, seen uh, some people pull some really cool cards out of it. So I figured why not give it a shot. And at some point in the next couple of weeks, I'll manage to get down and, and uh, pick up a hobby box. But as, uh, as it is, I like to open these uh, beginning of the year. This is uh, the base set, standard set for tops, series one, two, and, and update. Um, but I always seem to get it. I, I just like it. Um, most of the years recently have been pretty good as far as the actual cars themselves. And, and I think this one's pretty decent as well. So, But I'm just going to give you a quick look at the, uh, if I can get this focused in there, your um, odds of winning different cards. If that does, there we go, of winning different cards. And uh, if you want to freeze that, you can at least see what those are. But without further ado, let's pop this open, see if we can come up with anything decent. Looks like they, on the per the detailed, or sorry, retail packs here, they have, looks like two exclusive Vladdy Guerrero Jr. highlight cards. So that must be exclusive to Target. That would be my guess. So don't do these a whole lot, and I'm not usually a big retail fan, but it was there. Um, in fact, uh, we were getting uh, Pokemon cards for my nephew so of course this is tempting and sitting right next to them so i figure why not give it a shot see if we can come up with anything in uh in the rack pack retail space so i cannot get this out like i want to which is typical of these sometimes so there we go let's pull it out see what we got here they come in a little uh cello or plastic wrap in the bottom and just taking a quick peek I don't see anything super um, tricky. Oh, wait, that's a little odd. That's really odd. Take a look at that real quick in the middle. What is that? Come on, come on, come on. Zoom, zoom, please. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, it's not wanting to do it. Right there. That looks like it's some kind of... Um, I don't think I've ever seen that in a series uh, one, two, or update. Some type of a... Um, of a parallel um what do they call that not a it's uh i'm drawing a blank on what they call those things but um it is a uh, a cut type of a card and it will come to me as soon as i finish doing this video i know i know what it's called i'm just on the tip of my tongue but um but i will uh let you know if that's what that is which is really strange because it's kind of a an odd little uh deal there so i don't know where the i'm guessing all the decent stuff's going to be in the middle Let's go through it real quick. See, we got. I'm not going to sit here and go through everybody's name. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I see anything parallel wise or um, big names, and we'll just kind of take it from there. Uh, let's see. And they're going to be all flipped around each way. And if I see what I think might be a, a short print, I'll let you know too. There's a big Aaron Judge coming in on this uh, Michael Brosse. Uh, I guess it's Brosse of the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Tyler White. Gosh, why do they? I, I love how they go back and forth. It's funny. I look at this guy. I can't, um, what's his name? Dustin May from L.A. Looks like uh, <laughs> looks looks like Clint Frazier with a big puff of hair. It's kind of funny. Uh, Dozier, John Austin Hedges. That's a cool card. I like Aaron Hicks, and he is back and ready to roll here for the Yankees. For the season after uh, undergoing, I believe he had Tommy John surgery. I think he'll be ready to go. Maybe he'll have another month of rehab and 
April or possibly May, but he'll be back definitely by June of this year to uh, help with our outfield. Uh, there's a rookie, Mar uh, Mauricio Dur uh, Dubon. Don't really know him. That's a cool one. That's a Bryce Harper. Wondering if that might be a short print. I can't quite tell. I don't know. I'll have to take a look. That could be... I can't really see. I'll have to look. That that Bryce Harper is kind of a cool looking car. Don't know if that's short print or not. But there's a possibility that it is. Um, let's see who we got. Castro. Ben Gamble. It's a cool one. Former Yankee, or at least in their system. And I think we lost him to the Rule 5 draft. Starling Marte. Brandon Crawford. Kind of an interesting. It's a little difficult with this, uh, with the names being kind of on their side here. I have to get used to that. At least these um, looks like at least any of these uh, landscape cards are uh, are like that. Uh, there's a Yankee one team card. There's a St. Louis team card. Uh, close call. Um, Scott Kingery. Tanaka. Oh, there we go. We got a um, Michael Chavez. Looks like a, a rainbow parallel. So there's our first parallel card. Kind of nice. So let's set that one aside. Mike Trout. Now that could also be a short print. It's kind of, when you see these guys getting um, cards with them signing autographs, a lot of times that is an indicator of a short print. So. I wish I could see this well enough. I can't really. That's an 8-4 on the end of that. And let me look at the Tanaka one that was just out. That one. If it's different than an 8-4, I'm going to be pretty pumped. Uh, What is that? Zoom, zoom, zoom. I can't really read. Come on now. Yes. 6-9. Is this a 6-9? Oh my goodness! I think we have a short print. We have a short print, Mike Trout, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hump bomb. Uh, no, that's really cool. I'm really pumped about that one. So uh, if that pans out as a short print, I'd love to see what that thing's going for. Um, so that's if that's what that is. That's a great um, hanger, and I, I wouldn't have expected that. There's my Vlad Guerrero cards uh, to target. Um, I guess they've got, I don't know how many are in this series, Homer, Sweet Home, and Right Man, Right Spot. So those are the two there. Then we got a Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, this is what it is. It's a die cut Ken Griffey Jr. That's what they call it, die cut. Um, so you can see that. Kind of neat. That's rare as far as I know when it comes to, I don't usually see these very often in the in um, a regular top series one. That that's that may be the common um, uh, Ken Griffey subset. It might all be die cuts this year. I just I haven't done enough research to know. Um, but that's really a cool one. Put that one aside. Be nice if that's really uh, a die cut. That's that's uh, more of a rarity. Then you got a Will Clark in the 1985 look, which is kind of cool. Um, 35th anniversary of the 1985 set so that's kind of a, a nice one there um and then they're looking like they, they, they i think it's these are the uh what do they call it the turkey turkey red i believe it's what they call these things um i've seen the older ones in fact they go back to the ty cobb days um but these are uh i guess another uh insert in these um in series one so there you got uh you got josh bell and you got blake snell oh and oh yes very cool gavin lux uh turkey uh rookie card so that's a nice one right there um we just got a uh, gavin lux auto in a, a break that i did very fortunate on that one and that was the um archives tops archives um players edition and i was kind of a uh, part in a um in a break with that particular 
set and just really lucked out and pulled a uh, Gavin Lux auto. That should actually be arriving later this week, and I'll do a small video on that one as well. So another turkey of uh, Trey Mancini. Got a nice gold auto of his um, uh, Bowman Chrome. I think it might even be his either his first Bowman or maybe one of the subset of his first Bowmans. That's kind of cool. Uh, Talkman for the Yankees. David Price, the new Dodger. Uh, Roman Quinn. Let's see what else we got. Cody Bellinger, Ryan Braun, James Paxton. Dylan Cease, a uh, rookie. Omar Naravez. Uh, Reese McGuire. Matt Thais. Dan Vogelbach. We got this. So funny. I think this is the guy. If he came from Colorado. Don't know for sure. Don't know. Um, I don't think this is the guy. But we have a we have a Korean pitcher. A card uh, we we got in the set last year or the year before. We actually pulled the platinum, which is the one of one out of the tops. Um, you know that you can get series one, two, or update. That's very rare. The one of one is is a good card to get. I want to say it was this guy, but I think this guy's always been a, a Dodger. So I'll have to get you guys uh, his name. But he was a pitcher for the. Uh, the Rockies, and I know he's Korean. So if anybody knows that who that is, maybe give us a comment. Let us know. Clevenger, we have his auto and a Bowman. Uh, Hamilton, who do we got here? We got Tim Anderson. That's an interesting. We haven't gotten any gold yet, but we we did get the short print of Trout. Jose Abreu. There's Glaber, Glaber Day, and the new Yankee Garrett Cole. Shirts are World Series. Justin Verlander, who I was kind of laughing. Everybody's talking about how he likes to talk so much about all of the uh, scandals that have gone on out there and the uh, domestic violence and everything. But the minute this whole Astro story broke, just completely quiet for the most part and in denial of, of anything that went on with them. And uh, it's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping he'd uh, maybe speak out a little bit more. Let's see here. That's that. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Matt Barnes. Jake Arrieta. Uh, Christian Vasquez. And Blake Trinan to round it out. So it doesn't appear, unless I missed one that you guys might have saw. I don't think I got any numbered like golds or anything like that. I mean, unless I just blew right by one. But I think we did even better, to be honest, than a numbered card by getting a Mike Trout short print. Um, really want to look that up and see. I'm just looking real quick to see if there was any golds that we missed. I don't think there was. So that's uh, pretty cool. So there you have it. That is my little uh, mini break on the um, Tops Series 1. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, give us a like. Give us a uh, subscription. We're trying to get over that 100 subscriber hump. So anything you guys can do to help me with that be greatly appreciated. And uh, I'd like to do a, a giveaway maybe at 100. That'd be kind of nice. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, look back and check us again. And we'll be seeing you soon.